400 meters is next with five athletes in the field. And let's start with Vernon Norwood, and let's go to Nor Noah Williams first. Uh, Noah Williams was the indoor 400 meter champion at the NCAA in 4471, made it to the semifinals of the U.S. Olympic trials. And speaking of Olympic trials, this guy, Vernon Norwood, made it to the final at the Olympic trials and finished in fifth. And here is Jareem Richards of Trinidad and Tobago. He is better at 200 meters where he got the bronze medal outdoors in 2017 at Worlds, but he is indoors working on his strength. And in the stadium just moments ago while we were in break, they also remember Dion Lendor, another member of Team TTO who tragically passed away in a car accident earlier. Yeah, and that thrust just about everybody in the Caribbean and certainly at Texas A&M and all who knew him into mourning earlier in January. So here we go, men's 400, two laps of the track with the NCAA champion from last year in lane six, as well as Vernon Norwood, the veteran in five, Jareem Richards in four, Kamari Montgomery in three. There's a great tra traffic jam to watch. Three quarters through that first lap, they'll all try to move to the inside. Men's 400. So from the inside, Osei Montgomery, Richards, Norwood, and Williams out wide, fairly even through the first hundred. Now up onto the rise, and they'll come around, and then all try to move to the inside and find position. I've been watching Vernon Norwood run this year, and he has looked very comfortable. This race, not so far as comfortable as he's been running. It's Jareem Richards at 21.03, who holds the lead with just over 100 to go. Well, Richard trying to use that speed he showed in Tokyo where he made the final in the 200 meters. Going to try to hold off. Here comes Norwood and Montgomery, but Richards is going to get himself all the way to the line and celebrates the victory. That's a big personal best for him. That's why he's celebrating like that. So the 200 guy steps down and schools some of these quarter milers. And I felt like he would be able to hold L -L -L. Vernon Norwood off. Jareem Richards is somebody who very rarely breaks form. So he comes off. Yes, he's fatigued like everybody else. But you see his form does not deteriorate. And that's what keeps him in the front. Norwood up for second. And Kamari Montgomery in third. I think the surprise here for me is Noah Williams, the NCAA champion, fading, fading to fifth and last. So there's a look at the final results. Jareem Richards moves under 46 seconds for the first time ever. Number four time in Trinidad and Tobago history. Finds his target, and the target's a win in Staten Island.